So dealing with tree roots, it can be a, you know, just a real nightmare because you get so frustrated, but keep your smile and I promise you that you'll get through these. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to do it, you know, just using the shovel. And it's real important that you have a good shovel. You hardly ever see us use a wooden handled shovel. Um, you're gonna spend 25 to $30 for a decent shovel. You've gotta have one if you're gonna dig. So let's take a look at what we do to get through these roots. So when you're digging this yourself for the do-it-yourselfer, and you come across a shaded area that you know you're gonna come through, you can see all the trees here, there's lots of trees you're gonna have roots, especially if it's all shade. They're, they love it. And you can see this is a low spot. It runs uphill. Water floods back up underneath of that uh, slab and underneath of that awning. And it's just you know, ruining inside. So you've gotta get a drain over here. Do it yourself. It's not, hard. it's not easy, but it's not that hard. If you just believe you can do it, I promise you, you'll get through. You see all the matted roots here. This is hard to dig through. What I usually do is I cut the sides just like we're cutting sod and then we'll come back and we'll take off two inches and we come back we take off another two inches this will probably take from here to the sump basin it's about 15 feet to get over to that basin right there it'll probably take me about a half an hour it's not going to take that long but it's going to take a lot of energy to do okay so as I said we're going to cut it just like sod just come down about a shovel wide and you come as far as you want to go, then you come back, and you're just going to take it off. Try to get as much as you can, break those roots, use your body weight, and pull out a little piece. See, it's just like sod. It's just exactly like a piece of sod, but it's all full of roots. And there's going to be a lot of them. I'm going to jump on the shovel and see what it does. So it went down about two or three inches. We just got to break those roots out. Same thing, come back. Cut them on the side, both sides. Make sure it's wide enough. Make sure you're wide enough that you can get your shovel down in there. Because you're gonna end up doing it two or three times. But you can see, I can pull out some soil. These roots are pretty much just on the top. We're gonna keep on going. We've got about 20, 15, 20 feet. And we'll be able to get a pipe down in here and a drain. And this area won't flood anymore. That's the object, right? A little tough, but again, cut it just like sod. It does take a great deal of energy, but you can see I'm moving right along. Just break it out. You'll get through it. We only need to be a shovel deep, maybe a little deeper, so not bad. And those roots are pretty much just on the top. So shouldn't be that bad, but you can hear me huffing and puffing because <laughs> it does take some energy to do. So we'll go ahead and keep on going. We'll go all the way over to the sump basin and we got this. Okay, so you can take a look. We've got our trench done, took about 30 minutes and tough dig, but if you believe you can do it, I promise you, you can do this. So it's coming over to the sump basin, and at that bottom level down there, I'm gonna drill a four inch hole to let this water come into the sump pump. Sump pump's gonna lift it up. You can see the check valve and send it out to the front. Okay, so this side's installed. You can see we've got a catch basin, collects immediate surface water runoff. So as water comes across the yard, drops into the basin, comes through the pipe, over to the sump basin. Sump pump lifts it up and sends it all the way out front. Easy flow, this is French drain. Four inch perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts. As groundwater rises, it goes through that aggregate, which is the, the styrofoam peanuts, into the perforation of the pipe and is carried away. You need both of these to make this system work. 
the biggest thing you have to have is a discharge. We're using a sump pump. And the sump pump would be just, you know, where if you went out to the front, this is the same thing. We're quite deep back here and the yard, it runs uphill out to the front. So we can use a pump as a lift station to lift that water up. And here's where we discharge. This is a three inch fitting with a grate. The sump pump's gonna come up and push the water out through here. We always put a set screw in here because if you don't, it's gonna pop that right off of there. That pump is really powerful. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.